Hi there, stampers, and thanks for joining me today. We'll be making these super cool gift tags for the holidays. These are using a fabulous Big Shot die from Stampin' Up! called Two Tags and the Sweet Season stamp set. Let's get started. Stampin' Up!'s Two Tags Big Shot die is fantastic. It has a gift card holder and it has this tag. And here's what I find to be the coolest part about this, is that you can cut multiple sheets of paper on this die at once. If you're somebody like me who likes to stamp in bulk, especially something like tags, this is perfect for you. You can layer up to four sheets of cardstock at once, sandwich it between two cutting pads, and crank it through the big shot. This is what your finished die looks like. I love the stitching around the edges. Super cool. We're we'll using the Sweet Season stamp set from Stampin' Up. This is a ballet blue ink pad. I'm going to stamp this snowflake design twice on very vanilla cardstock. One, I'll be punching out with a one and a quarter inch circle punch. Always punch upside down so you can see exactly where your image is inside so it's perfect. And the second one, I'm going to be using Stampin' Up's scallop circle punch. You can really see that this stamp was made to be punched out by the scallop circle punch. See how the edges are a perfect match? And for our final piece, I'm using a scrap of Stampin' Up's brushed silver cardstock and the 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch. I'll use snail to stick the two circles together. I'm going to take the 1 and 16 inch punch, just pop a hole right in the middle of this. And I'm going to use Stampin' Up's clear rhinestone brads. You can purchase the brads separately, but the, if you've been following my video tutorials, you know that we've altered these half pearls and we've used the silk flowers and now we're moving on to the clear circle brads. So I'm going to take a clear circle brad, pop it right in the center, spread the back, put it two stamp of dimensionals on the back, and stick that to the scallop so it has a little dimension to it. And then we'll just put three more stamp of dimensionals on the back of that and line it right up with the stitching there. And oh, Isn't that awesome? It just pops right off the tag at you. So super cool. And then I took this stamp and I just wanted the with heart from, because I heart you. And I'm taking two Stampin' Right markers from Stampin' Up, Ballet Blue, which is the same color ink we're using, and Bravo Burgundy. Using the brush tip end of the marker, I'm just coloring in the width and the from, and the burgundy on the heart. And I put that down towards the right hand side. Isn't that super cool? This gave us two techniques using the Stampin' Right markers. One was eliminating some pieces of the stamp, and the second was getting multiple colors on one image. Very cool. Love these guys. And that's it. That's all there is to making your gift tags. Simple, easy, make a ton of them. Be sure to visit my blog for tons more great ideas. Thanks for joining me today. Happy holidays.